How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could you... hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, cuz... Go on. I mean... So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I say. All right, let's hear what old Dex has to say. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Said you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, sure, you could. And I said, rut your wheels. Give them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. The top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. 
Easy on the gas, huh? I just stayed. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. We'll see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But... We got a new job lined up. A big hitter in the afterlife. Oh. Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, young boy. We're bulletproof.
Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. Let's see the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, 
how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's really the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Goal lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Okay, let's put a pin in that. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. I truly believe that those who have sold you to me... Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber-psycho attacks in this city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me, for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. <laughs> Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, yeah. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving, man. Second, a rendezvous. 
Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit from one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Mr. Prima Donna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. She must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it now. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Aye, right, heard about that. 
versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Is the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Got anything tasty and quick? It's like they say, you either get tasty or you get quick. Here you get full spread, two in one. <laughs> Stout here, start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh-uh. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.
Let me hear what you squared away. So Dex already paid the Maelstromist for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ijole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. It had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. Waiting on you. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Snipes aimed at your skull. You don't let me go. Your dogs will have to glue you back together. He's lying. Try that again, and it's two million volts. Got it? Do a sweep now. Now listen, this piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, 
Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? I need a bot. Flathead mob. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to f I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! The cuts are any good at dead! And she'll take you down with her! Gotta get this done. Just open the fucking door. Yeah? You make a fucking appointment? Cause I don't see nothing in my book. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh yeah, they look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. 
hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. <laughs> Called him special. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. T zero D one two, called the Flathead. And the hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. Who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? 
you'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that! Without that in the fucking eye! <laughs> Hand over the chip, you hand over the body. Clean and easy. No complications. Look at this fucking Boy Scout! You know all your nods? Got all your badges? <laughs> you know, he never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's it. Dexter Deshaun! The Lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? He ain't dead? No, nope. he's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Mm -hmm. You're short, Sark! Hell, oh, I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? Cred chip was spiked with a virus. Don't worry. I wiped it. Check it. to our meat grinder. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. More their fucking style, I'd say. Let's go! We'll ride the production line! Flip it on! How long are you gonna make me wait? Hey, Dudam, or whatever your name is, are you even helping us? I'm not.
Let's get out of here. Gate. We could talk there. Wait! Hold your fire! I'd like a word with them. You shot at my people. They drew in fire first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. 
Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. When you don't know what to do, why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? And you? Why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him, too. It's been a pleasure. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. I think we're done. What now? Uh, I had enough for one day, let me tell you. Let Dex know we got his toy for him. Fats will want to crack open a bottle for us after what we did for him today. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there's trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You used the corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Mr. V. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Park will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck.